Hey everybody, you might notice something a little different about my blog today. Video. Video of me. I thought it might be interesting to punctuate my written words with some spoken words. <clears throat> so please keep an eye out for them. Today I want to speak directly to Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. Madam Secretary, please run for president in 2012. You must run for the sake of our party and you must run for the sake of our country. Now, I know it's not common for a major politician or a cabinet member even to run against a sitting president of her own party, but these are extraordinary times, and the stakes are incredibly high. Our economy is stuck. People are fed up. They want change. They voted for change. They voted for hope. But this is not the change they can believe in. You know what the change is that they can believe in? You, Madam Secretary. They want to believe in you. They want you in the White House. Unemployment is at 9.1%. By the president's own estimations, it'll still be at 9% by next year's election. And you know what's chilling about that statistic? No president since FDR has been reelected with an unemployment rate greater than 7.2%. The president's numbers aren't any better. His popularity is stuck in the mid-40s. Just 29% of Americans approve of his handling of the economy. 72% of Americans now think government is broken and not functioning properly. This doesn't bode well for the president, and it certainly doesn't bode well for the Democratic Party. President Obama has squandered so much time and precious political capital trying to appease Republicans, trying in some misguided way to achieve bipartisanship with people who literally hate his guts and who've made it their mission to undermine him at every turn to make him a one-term president. And if he is a one-term president, he's gonna to lose to a Republican. And that Republican might very well be a Tea Party Republican. Try to imagine President Bachman. Try to imagine a President Perry. Try to imagine a President Palin. I think you get my point. Which is exactly why you must run for president next year. Don't let America fall into the hands of Perry and Bachman and Palin these people will turn the country back 200 years. They will reverse the progress and the advancements made in the areas of healthcare, science, education, the environment, and human and civil rights. This is the crazy party. And you can prevent a member of the crazy party from occupying the White House by running yourself next year. You know, economies are cyclical. They go up, they go down. And I can guarantee you by 2016, this economy will turn. That's the year you're supposed to run for president. But let me tell you this, that'll be too late for you. And here's why. If Obama loses next year and the economy turns by 2016, a Republican incumbent sitting on a strong economy is guaranteed re-election. That means your next shot is 2020, a year in which you'll be 73 years old too old to run for president, and certainly too old to want to be president. No, you must run now. Here's the difference between you and President Obama. He has no fight. He has no vision. He doesn't know what he wants or who he is. He only knows how to succumb to his enemy, an enemy which you know all too well by spending eight years in the White House with former President Bill Clinton. You saw what they did to him. You experienced what they did to you when you tried to present your own health care reform bill. You know these people. You know what they're capable of. You know how ruthless they can be. And you know that in order to see through your agenda, you will have to fight to the death. Obama doesn't know how to do that. He only knows how to cave. He caved on his health care public option. He caved on the Bush ca repealing the Bush tax cuts for the wealthy. He caved on insisting on revenue increases to accompany spending cuts in the recent deficit reduction battle with Congress. He caved on Afghanistan. He caved, most recently, in scheduling his big job speech this week. He's not a fighter. You're a fighter. And you are who Democrats want. You must run, Secretary Clinton. And I guarantee you this. You came so close in 2008. Imagine what would what the outcome would be with all the millions of Obama supporters who will defect in a nanosecond the minute you announce your candidacy. 
people who do anything humanly possible to support you, including blogging, fundraising, campaigning in the streets, knocking on doors, operating phone banks. Just say the word, and they're there. They will be Hillary Clinton's army. Secretary Clinton, please run for president. Please. Thank you.